I'm Dennis, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve the failed status when requesting a private certificate from the AWS Certificate Manager console. Let's get started. By default, ACM only issues end entity certificates with a validity period of 13 months. ACM private CAs can't issue private certificates if the validity exceeds the PCA's validity period. This means that an error occurs when you request a private certificate through the ACM console with a validity period greater than the private certificate authority certificate's validity period, which is less than 13 months. To resolve this, we'll use the issue certificate API call of ACM PCA to allow us to pass a custom validity period as a parameter. First, because we are going to be using the AWS command line interface, make sure that you have installed the latest version of AWS CLI on your computer or an Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute instance. Now let's go to the terminal and run the issue certificate command to request a private certificate. This command requires the Amazon resource name for the CA certificate and also requires the CSR for the certificate that we want to issue. The output for the command is the ARN for the end entity private certificate. Note that if you use the ACM private CA API or AWS CLI to issue a private certificate, the certificate is unmanaged. This means that you can't use the ACM console, AWS CLI, or ACM API to view or export it, and the certificate is not automatically renewed. However, you can use the get certificate AWS CLI command to retrieve the certificate's body and chain. This means that we can import it and use it with ACM integrated services. The get certificate command outputs the base64 encoded PM format certificate and the certificate chain. We can also go ahead and create an audit report to list all the certificates that your private CA has issued or revoked. The report is saved in a new or existing Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket that you specify. As we can see, we are logged into the AWS Management Console, S3 Console. Choose the S3 bucket that will use the store the audit report. Navigate to permissions and then attach the following bucket policy. Now let's go to the CLI window. This time we'll use the create certificate authority audit report command to create the audit report and then place it in the prepared S3 bucket. And now you know how to resolve the failed status when requesting a private certificate from the ACM console. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.